This evening, we're so honored to be part of Veronica's family traditions. What is it called again? Pontremoli. Say it again. Pontremoli. <laughs> I have a hard okay. time saying it, but this is where you lived. Yes. Looking over the city like this. Uh, yes, exactly. Raised and born here. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. That was the house of uh, the, my grand grandfather. Yeah. Uh, the main one is uh, that one, and this was a stable. Wow. Completely restored by the, the son yeah. of. Um, grandparents yeah and uh, well and today is where we live but you have olive groves here yes over here you can see and you have wine too right over here all the olive oil and uh, over there you see it's a mix of uh, 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 vineyards yeah and then olive oil wow absolutely stunning <laughs> so this is what I say is the Mediterranean lifestyle see okay. I think so. It's a <laughs> slow life and it's what we meant to be vegetarian life like. A perfect life. Perfect. Salata per eccellenza con tremolese la torta derby. Che ognuno personalizza un po' perché questo era era il piatto povero alle origini. This is very typical to hear. It's basically yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, they are yeah, talking about yeah, the kind yeah, of yeah, foods yeah, that yeah, uh, they use in this yeah, part. Yeah, and what's it called? Yeah, 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 allora, yeah, 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 i gli chiamano qua e gli erbette li chiamano dall'altra parte. Okay. 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 The other one, it was a very small word change. What was it called? Okay, so in this area we call it Torta Derby. In Emilia Romagna they call it Erbette. Okay, uh -huh. so from the, the name you can recognize if it, it is from here or from there. And it, does it taste differently or is it just Absolutely. a different name? This is better. <laughs> so, so what, what are, are we I'm making, going? Dario? So apparently I'm making something that is completely different. That I'm used to with a proper knife now. <laughs> okay, so this is a it's basically a salty tart or a savory tart that is made with big greens, spinach, uh, potato, raw potato, and leeks. So what do you do? Eh? I mean I'm learning here, eh? I'm I'm just a sous chef. And it's a traditional ancient recipe. Ancient, ancient recipe. Mm -hmm. Va bene? Perfect. Okay, I'm putting So we did okay. Well, for now. Okay, so she's doing the leeks first. Leeks and the onions. The leeks and the onions in milk. Yeah. Really translate this thing, it means little heads. Okay? But basically what it is, is a little vessel. What are we actually going to cook? The savory tart. I'm part of the filling. And now we're going to have to make this folia, which is the, the dough which I'm very curious to see what it's going to be because it's done by hand. Yeah, un po'. And of course the fresh nutmeg Fresh nutmeg, freshly grated. Look at that, she has the, 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 the small little uh, rasp there. Okay, I'm going to come and eat here all the time. Mother-in-law, the husband, she was a cook. Mm -hmm. And she would wait the eggs to make sure the recipe was exactly perfect. Because wow. she said the eggs were not all the same, which are not. Yeah. Okay. So you see the, the measurement here? Yeah. The measurement is parmigiano. <laughs> approximately. But don't you always put more parmesan in than most? Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> now, you, can't, you can't overdo parmesan. Well, you can, but it, it also that makes a lot of sense. That's why she didn't put any salt. Because it's all the, the salt. Parmesan is already. Yeah. Qui manca solo il sale ora. Che ne mettiamo alla fine? Sì. Quando abbiamo fatto la sfoglia, lo mettiamo alla fine. A parte che se lui è veloce, lo posso mettere. Ah. That's the salute Italian. the Italian. Dopo lo giri, così, e poi fai il blu, eccoci qua. Ok. Il sale l'hai preso? No, non l'ho preso. Allora, la signora. What is this, Daria? What are we doing now? Well, I'm not doing it. 
they're doing it. So we went, we're going from one generation to the next. So the mother taught us to make the fifth, and of course she knows how to make the dough. And now the daughter is going to make the dough. So we have an old ancient rolling pin. We are now using a pasta machine. We're using just the rolling pin. That's the, what we made the pizza with yesterday, uh, last week too, right? Yes, but I think this has got a little bit more of an Easter egg. Mm. And we're going to ask, mm. you know. So we have our cutting board, but look at this. Can you just turn around and show them where the we view? are doing the pasta? Look at this, everybody. <laughs> this is where we're doing this is pretty the crazy, dough. The dough for the savory tart. So we're making the savory tart, and this is something that we're so going. This is the third generation. So we went. No, oh no. So, so if you're going to the great grandmother. Mia nonna era nata nel 1889. 1889. Then it was gone to her mother. And now is to first, second, third, fourth generation. Yeah. Now it's yours. Woohoo! So her mom Sei brava davvero. Eh, bisogna vedere Grazie. come viene. Viene bene, viene bene, viene bene. Non lo so. Ma anche tu fai la. fai. anche tu? Noi mettiamo al forno una. Initial of the family. Tiziana, yeah. Ivana, the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Veronica, Big. Alessio. Wow. Guardate, che come grande. Ma che buono! E la mangi che quella? Eh, ma allora mangi che tu. Non ce l'abbiamo più. Anita and Dario's adventures inspire you to only your life. Welcome to Italy.